Good day, good day, and welcome back to SPV3. Spinning around a bit. Alright, now let's just see what we got ahead of ourselves. This might be the final episode, too. So, let's just have a look. Engine room located. We're here. Alright. Alert! The monitor has disabled all command access. We can't restart the countdown. The only remaining option is to detonate the ship's fusion reactors. That should do enough damage to destroy Halo. Don't worry, I have access to all of the reactor schematics and procedures. I'll walk you through it. First, we need to pull back the exhaust couplings. That will expose a shaft that leads to the primary fusion drive core. Why are there hunters? <laughs> die, I'll go back to here instead. There we are. What's the big idea? into the fusion reactor. No, I don't. We need a catalyst explosion to destabilize the magnetic containment field surrounding the fusion cell. Use an explosive. I recommend a grenade or rocket. If you run out of explosives, there is an armory station located near the engine room vent. Analyzing. Fusion reactor number one I destabilizing. Use explosives on the other three reactors. That should be enough to trigger a wildcat explosion of the engine. I don't have to do all four of them again. Oh, oh, oh. What the... 
No, give me back my shotgun. Let's try that again. Can I get back? Oh, really? Keep it up. Only one more fusion reactor to go. Yeah, I'm trying, but I keep falling off. I'm having a lever. Safeguard. Oh. Yeah, Gone critical. Yeah, I'm Based on the current rate right of decay, now. we should have 15 minutes to get off the ship. We don't have much time. We should move outside and signal for evac. Accessing schematics. There's a service lift at the top of the engine room. It leads to a class 7 service corridor that runs along the ship's dorsal structure. Hurry! I'm going, I'm going. before the fusion drives detonate. We need to evac now! Activating final countdown timer. When it reaches zero, I'm the engines nerd. will detonate. The explosion will generate uh. a temperature of almost 100 million degrees. Don't be here when it blows. I run. Yeah, I'm running. Let's go.
to every wall I come across. Cortana to Echo 419. Request extraction now on the double. Affirmative, Cortana. Full hammer inbound. Wait, stop! This is where Fohammer is coming to pick us up. Hold position here. Cortana to Echo 419. Two Covenant Banshees are approaching on your six. Evade! Say again, evade! Roger. Roger! I see him! Wait one! Come on! Come on! Breaking right! Damn! Too late! I'm hit! Mayday! Mayday! Echo 419! She's gone. Calculating alternate escape route. Ship's inventory shows one longsword fighter is still docked in Launch Bay 7. If we move now, we can make it. Shut them down, we'll need them later. Fancy a look? Did anyone else make it? Scanning. Just dust and echoes. We're all that's left. We did what we had to do for Earth. An entire Covenant Armada obliterated and the Flood. We had no choice. Halo, it's finished. No, I think we're just getting started.
Oh, no credits, alright. Okay. Well, that was SPV3. Mod for how the combat evolved. That's a pretty good job. did do a pretty good job. I'm just trying to think of something else to say. But I can't. So, apart from that being a rather good mod, there you go, actually what's through at this point. I might want to have a look at the website that's linked below in the description because I'll leave a link to the mod itself. It doesn't cost anything to get, I think. Do you need it? You might need it. the original game, I'm not sure. Follow the instructions, I guess. Well, either way. That's about all the time I've got for this episode. Decent mod. Said that a couple of times. I'd recommend it, yes. Yeah. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you enjoy my content, then like and subscribe. Well, I'd say, for the last time, this has been Halo. CE SPV3 Cheerio